Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox the Cobalt Brushless Hammer Drill. And yes, I do have two batteries. I have a four amp hour and a two, two amp hour. I will be getting a six amp hour in the future. And so we're gonna be able to use that against the other brands, against their other six amp hour batteries. So let's unbox this and see what's inside. So it's gonna be a very simple unboxing. There we go. Of course it comes with instructions. And warranty. Put that instruction warranty bag. Let's just take it all out. Uh, the after that, the box is empty. Nothing's inside. That's recycling. Alrighty, so of course we get the. Of course we get the uh, hammer, the the tool, the hammer drill. So you can actually see beyond the clutch, there's metal inside. So it is a metal housing for the hammer feature. And so yes, just like on the rigid, you adjust the setting for drill, hammer, and screw on the side, just like that. But uh, com compared to the rigid one, this is a much easier selection. So the rotation is easier than the rigid. I like that, it's much more convenient. So I like that. So this is model number uh, KHD uh, 524B-03. This is a half inch metal chuck. So like I say, for hammer drills, you need a metal, metal chuck or the plastic housing around the metal will probably uh, crack. This is a 24, uh, four, 24 point clutch plus three, which that's on the side. So and there's also a display on what it actually is on top. So you get a uh, drill, screw, and a hammer. Actually, I like that feature that there's a display on top like that. That's awesome. It comes with a double-ended drill bit, a flathead, a flathead and Phillips. It comes with two screws, a belt clip, and a bit holder. Now, I like this feature of the bit, hol uh, the bit holder. You can just screw this on the side, and then there you go. There you go. So let's put those on really quick. Alrighty, so I got my Hilti to put this on. There we go. There we go, perfect. Let's put the other one on. Now, like I said before, I love this feature. It's awesome. Let's put that to four. Perfect. All right, there we go. Now that makes the base look beefy, and I like that. I like that. All right, so slide that in. Bingo. Now, like I said, I have two batteries. I have a two amp hour and four amp hour. We are going to be testing both of them. There's a little wind up. At speed one, speed two. All right, so does this give the specs? Yes, it does. It gives the RPM only. I'll, I'll find out what the torque is. I'll put the torque in right now. Uh, at speed one, it is zero to 550 RPM. And on speed two, it is 2000 RPM. And there you go, we're, we're gonna use that on drill. And very good, let's see what it sounds like with a four amp hour battery. Alrighty, let's uh, put this to the test. One thing I forgot is the actual handle. All right, so the handle is made out of uh, good, good metal for the, for the shaft. It has good metal clamps and the the actual grip part has a rubber molding on it with a fiberglass reinforced inside. So, so yeah, it doesn't feel as robust as the other brands, but it's good enough to get the job done. Yeah, I don't think this is going to break on you. And that's the main thing. I don't think it's going to break on you. There you go. Excellent. Alrighty, and every time you work, make sure you wear gloves and safety glasses. 
Got mine right here. All right, so we're going to start off with the 2 amp hour battery first. We're going to do one hole, then do another hole with a 4 amp hour. See if there is a, di uh, a difference. All right, we're good to go right there. All right, so ready? Go. Get over. My bad. Didn't lock it in place enough. All right, so ready? Go. All right, so let's switch over to the four amp hour battery. Oh, I'm sorry, the batteries are full. Ready, go. Time. There you go. A one and one eighth in. I remember we're only doing wood in this episode. Concrete will be next. The next time I do a test video on this. All right, we clear everything. So, ready, go. Time. You know, let's do one more. Let's see if there's a difference when I when I use the uh, the handle. All right, so ready. Go. Time. I like that. The handle, the handle it easily glides on and off. Alrighty, so let's uh, use the four amp hour. All right, so ready, go. Time. There, I could tell that there was a difference between a two amp hour and four amp hour. All right, so we're gonna drive in two holes with a three quarter inch. The, this drill bit is getting on its last legs, so I'm hoping that we're able to do this. All right, so just to show you guys, the battery now is at three. It's on speed two, it's on drill. Do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so let's try it with the four amp power. Ready, go. It's through. It's stalled, but it finished the task. There we go. Let's see how well this performs. We're drilling a, drilling a three inch hole. Ready, go. Very good. Alright, again, for the last test, what we are going to do is we are going to test out to see if the Cobalt Brushless Hammer Drill could easily drive in a one and a half inch self-driving spade bit. Alright, we're going to test them out on both 2 amp hour and 4 amp hour. We're going to do it on speed 2, see if it's capable of doing it. Gotta love that ratchet truck. Good. All right, so ready, go. All right, so we're going to have to switch over to speed one. The cobalt is unable to do it on speed two. All right, so continue.
There you go. All right, let's ease, slowly take it out. Let's see if this is capable of doing it on speed two with a four amp hour. I'm hoping it can. I'm hoping it can, because it would be YouTube gold if it can. All right, so ready, go. Oh yeah. Struggled. Ooh, does that smell? Hope that didn't smell like it's burning. All right, so let's slowly take it out on speed one. Let's do one more on speed two. Let's do one more. All right, so ready, go. Ready to do it? Oh. Where did it cut out at? No, nope, no smoke. Right, it's there actually. There you go. Now I have another successful drill in my arsenal for these versus videos. This is uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like I, uh, like I say. In every video, is there a better hammer drill than this out there? Yes, there is. But that doesn't mean that this is garbage. All right, so it, it, it did the job. Now this, uh, doing a one and a half inch is a tough, tough task. All right, so like having, uh, like demanding that much power out of the little motor, it, it's a lot. Some, uh, some ha uh, drill slash hammer drills can't do it on a high speed. Some de demand a lower, uh, RPM for it because it just stalls out if it's too fast and some could do it with ease Like nothing, but I do think it is almost time to replace this bit I think it's uh, it still has a lot of life left in it, but it is it is getting dull Alrighty, so let's take a quick temperature reading All right, so the, the highest temperature on the point is 93 degrees so this got this got pretty hot considering the tasks it did. It got it got it got a little warm. Like I said, like one of the hardest uh, uh, test uh, stress tests when it comes to bits is the one and a half inch self driving spade bit because this requires a lot of power to do it fast without stalling the motor. Now because uh, uh, this one was unable to for with a two amp hour battery to. Do it on speed two, but it was able to do with a four amp hour battery with a little struggle here and there. So that, that's pretty much it. Uh, stay, please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell button to be notified of uh, when I upload a video. We are going to do a test on this with concrete in the future, and we're also going to do a test of metal. And so, plenty of versus videos coming up, plenty of unboxings, plenty of specs, and see how tools act when in a certain situation. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.